Sarah here from Lifetime Story Photography and in today's video I will show you how to take this image from here into this digitals. So before we start what we can do is to focus on this image and see that the shadows in here are a little bit stronger than the shadows in here so what we want to do first is to one make the baby more rounder and more perfect and second reduce this sh this shadows so I'll reduce the shadow straight away and I use a set of Kelly's brown actions and she has lightened the shadows and it's a little bit too strong for me so I will invert it and with a brush a round brush you will come and brush it over brush, and I want to reduce it a little bit maybe about 39% and I want to take those shadows out a little bit so they are not so strong i still want to leave them on the wrap they don't mind me so darker stronger so i still want to go on that wrap and leave them back in there cool and i'm back on the baby's face we will sort that out later cool so we do that then we will go into liquify and i just want to make him super round now if this is not something what you like to do you can leave the baby as it is it's he was perfect he's just um, trying to perfect everything and you do it as you love in the end if you think that your baby is good in my case I think the baby was very good so I didn't I don't need to do too much just slight slight adjustments if you wrap everything correctly from the start you don't even need to do this cool so right now I've done that then what you have to see is that the light is right here and the shadows are in the side so you'll have to pose and the baby in exactly the same way and if you see my light is right here the highlight and the darkness it's here so we've seen where are the shadows now we have to take the baby command a command c command v all right so we are reducing the opacity and we are trying to put the baby right there in the middle and as you see it fits perfectly in there i'll just enter it lift that opacity back and i will invert my layer so right now i'm painting just over the baby I am painting it at this percent at 39 percent you can start with bigger higher amount but I like to start low so I can see my blending areas and then you can go and start 100 percent opacity all right so the good part having a similar fur in the background or underneath the baby makes your blending way way easier because you pretty much you just have to match it up in your um, prop so I did like to see a little bit of that fur in here 40% just coming over the baby 
and blending in that so it shows pretty much that the curls are coming over him so it looks more real you can go close up if you want and make sure that everything is blended in nicely and that's how easy it is to do it so before and after now what you can do also is add a little bit shadow around him and again i use something from kelly brown i darken a bit the image and then i invert the layer and then i add a little bit of that dark so I don't have hot spots so much. I don't go on his face this time. It's just in there. So we make a little bit of shadows where he should have been had those shadows. If you believe it's too much, you can, of course, reduce that. But I do love it. Cool. For me, this image looks very good and what I do, I add ooh, a little bit of sharpening, 15% of my action. I think I need to straighten up a little bit the backdrop. It's a little bit, here is less and there is more. Um, crop, but just a simple rotation, like so. Enter and pretty much the image it's done and i love it you can add more stuff into this you can smoothen the background i don't think we need it because the image looks amazing as it is so this is how we moved from something like this and if i will show you the before so that was before and we've done it after the image is not this image right here is not edited and then we moved it into this beautiful backdrop so if you like this video don't forget like subscribe and if you want this digitals they are in in my shop you're more than welcome to go and see them there is a link somewhere in this post and you'll see some different um, things in there like textures and more digital backdrops and wraps and other stuff so have a great day and see you in the next one bye